Okay, so the first step to getting the pipe on the rod is to measure how deep our pipe is on the inside. So in order to do that, we're gonna run our calipers straight down the inside. And we're using the extender piece that will go down in the pipe and tell us how deep it is. 3.431 deep. So we'll come right here on our pipe and transfer that measurement uh, right here on our rod and transfer that measurement. So I want to be a little short of that because uh, I want to give myself some room even though this this ramrod pipe is I'm, I'm sorry this um, this stick is uh, an inch longer than I need so I've got a little room to work with but uh, we need to get this whittled down and uh, and get it fit so let's get at it. All right first thing we're going to do is we're gonna inlay our mark with a chisel. And this can be done with a X-Acto knife or whatever you wanna use. But I just go around. And that'll give me a little guide mark. For the file. So what we need to do is get an idea of just how much smaller this is gonna to need to go which is really kind of a 30 second all the way around, so it's not much. So basically, I just chiseled out, you can see that, just chiseled out a little edge there, so it's easier to work with the file. And I'll start out with a number 50. So what I'm doing is I got this roughly where I wanted it in about the same depth all the way around. And then I'm putting the seam toward me and I'm pushing it on. Now, once I get to the point where, um, where I go a little further up the shaft, I pull it off, see where it's hitting, and this is back to the mill bastard file, so it's, it's pretty uh, fine. And it ought to go closer and closer to the end. So we wanna get the edge here that we cut out with a chisel fairly straight. See where it's touching and where it's not. And start backing, backing that edge up where it's touching. And I can see that edge I cut with the chisel is not perfectly round. Um, it's not perfectly set this way. So that's what I'm doing, going around and setting that. And I want to look and see if that is bent any particular way, and it is. I come back off, and I'm going to take this edge and file it down to straighten that tip back up. Until you get it just the way you want it. Okay, and that's looking good. All the way around, and of course, it, the tip is not perfectly round, so we will fit it to the wood here a little bit. Uh, before we get too much further. Go ahead and do that now. Okay, now I need to bring the wood and the metal so they mate together. One's not above on this side or below on that side. So for that, we'll go right back to the, um, to the mill file. In some edges, the metal is high. In some edges, the wood is high. And I'm just filing either one of those down depending on what it is when you're filing the metal you want to stay on the metal and off of the wood because you don't want to bring the wood down as well okay so we've got the the wood and the metal made it up 
as good as I want it for this this uh, this purpose. And so now we're going to go re-blue, and then we'll pin and glue this on. All right, so it's fire blued again, and looking pretty good. So you can use epoxy, lots of different things. I like to just use um, Tight Bond 3, good wood glue. So our tip's on, our tip is straight and square, and now we just need to pin it. So to pin, you want to use a, a nail or, you know, a steel nail or a um, brass nail, anything like that. And what we're going to do is use these two nails and this little bit, which is a little smaller than the nail, just a tiny, tiny bit. And we're going to come in here and tap this first nail spot. And we're going to drill that out. And then we are going to get one of the nails. So not only is it glued on, it's pinned on. And snip that on, off as tight as we can. That down, and then we're going to peen that. With a ball peen hammer. And I'll hit that with a little bit of a file. One more time. Like I said, this can be done as neat as you want to do it. And for a nice uh, Pennsylvania rifle, you're going to want to do it neat. But for the purposes of this wiping stick for the um, Type G trade gun, we want it basic. Basic, basic, basic. So that's it. That's that side. Now, now we're going to do the uh, handle part. So the first thing we need to do is get this down in the bore and see just what kind of spare room we have. And I'll take my pencil and I'll mark that so I know we have that and give us a little relief from that. But that's where we want our handle to set maybe an eighth inch above that, just so there's a little bit of room. So we'll set this aside. And we'll take our piece of square block. So we'll just take our pencil and make a handle size that fits the hand good and then mark that. So about that long. So something like that. And we're going to octagon which is just taking these edges and turning them down. And we'll do both sides the same way. Okay, that's good enough. So now I'll take our mill bastard file again. Of course I lost again. And we'll just go over this to smooth it up. I don't want all the file marks out. I just want all the uh, all the wood that's just kind of tearing off of there. All right, so we've taken this and octagoned that handle. Pretty simple. And not perfect. You can use pencils on those edges to make sure they're straight if you want to get that a perfect octagon, but that's not what we're going for. Now we're going to drill our hole for our rod. Okay, so in drilling the hole for the rod, uh, this is a very large hole that's gonna be going 
and this handle. So we've got to be extremely careful. Not a lot left all the way around the edges, uh, 3 16 around the edges. So we'll start, we'll center and drill. And I did center off camera, so fairly centered. And we need a guide hole to guide our bit. So we'll get a little bigger this time, verifying that we're still centered. And I'm gonna go get another yet bigger drill bit. And one more. Now we're gonna work slowly and easy and hope we don't bust through this thing. I think we can go a little deeper, but not much. This 0.55, we need to take off of this rod. So let's get it off. Just about right. So now we're going to take off the handle. Now we're going to round this in. All right, so we've got our handle. So let's get that thing on. All right, so now we're going to stain it. So we'll let this dry a few minutes and see what we've ended up. Okay, so literally in a couple hours, we made ramrod tip, threaded 1032. So we made the steel tip. Rod. an octagon handle. And I, I uh, stained this with uh, Laurel Mountain Forge Lancaster Maple and then went over the top of that with a little bit of red uh, writ. And because I wanted a, a bit of a red, I wanted a bit of, bit of a red hue to go with the, um, with the rifle. I mean with the, uh, the smoothbore trade gun. So I will wrap a little bit of leather around this last three or four inches to hold it in there. But I now have a wiping stick designed specifically for the Jack Brooks trade gun. And it is something along the lines of that picture. So that's what we're looking for. That's what we've done. Couple hours, no time at all. You need some couple dollar sheet steel, um, 22 gauge, some some cold rolled kind of three uh, three sixteenths flat stock steel for your tip to thread, and um, and that's it. I mean, you don't need much. It doesn't take much. You need a little map gas. Those are 20 bucks for a can and 10 dollars for the for the uh, for the handle part. So. Uh, nothing to it. Little piece of square oak from Lowe's, square stock that I just octagoned real quickly. I mean, it took me less than five minutes to shape that. And we've got a really good half inch wiping stick. Can be used as a range rod, super heavy duty rod. Um, little flex in it, but not much. And period correct, handmade tip nothing to it. So if I can do it, you can do it. See ya.